COVID cases keep skyrocketing, with lawmakers trying to figure out how to help. Gain in positivity and, and number of cases certainly isn't going to uh, instantly relieve the pressure that our hospitals are facing. We're still in for a long uh, haul here in terms of caring for Nebraskans uh, in our hospitals. Early on in the pandemic, we were all healthcare heroes. We were thought of as unbelievable people that put our lives in danger to take care for these patients. And what you'll hear, our, especially with our nurses on our COVID units currently state, is that they don't feel like they're getting that those accolades anymore, that they are not necessarily seen as heroes, that life has gone on and society has gone on, but they're still in the trenches caring for these patients. Nebraska Hospital Association estimates the state will be short more than 5,000 nurses by the year 2025 if action isn't taken soon. These nurses, when you talk to them, and you look at them, and you look into their eyes, you know they are mentally and physically exhausted. And they don't want to give up. While money isn't everything, it speaks a lot. And as a nurse, if I can give a nurse a few extra dollars so that they can have their house cleaned, so when they go home at night that they can take care and spend time with their families, that's a positive bonuses, administering scholarships, creating new jobs, and establishing grant applications. The Nebraska Hospital Association supports those new bills from state senators. If anyone's out there minimizing this or, or saying this just isn't happening, um, they're not telling themselves the truth at the detriment of uh, their families, their community, their neighbors. We need to change this curve again now, or we're going to be in a lot of trouble a couple of weeks from now. Last week, Nebraska Medicine went into crisis mode. Too many patients, not enough resources. It's a key way to protect a system that's ballooning out of control. Staff is tired and stressed from a two-year pandemic or sick themselves from a fast-spreading Omicron variant. And there just aren't enough traveling nurses to fill the gaps anymore. We know that this is still largely a disease of the unvaccinated. And that those who aren't vaccinated or aren't booster, when they get this virus, they get sicker. And then they often do require hospitalization. Inaction now will lead to a decade or more of chronic understaffing in our healthcare system in Nebraska.